Hi guys, so today's video is going to be a life update slash a get ready with me. I need to get ready today, so I thought I'd film a life update while I do that. I have not done a life update in a little bit, I think since the summer, and I normally do life updates every three months or so, so I'll link some older ones down below. It's so interesting to go back and to just watch them because they're so just different where I am in life and stuff like that. So I'm definitely in a different spot now than I was in my last one. So I will talk a lot about that. But I asked you guys on Instagram what specific topics you wanted to see me talk about. So we're going to talk about those things. But usually whenever I do life updates, I stick in the realm of my school life, YouTube, faith, and every single time someone asks me about boys. I mean, it's in every Q&A, everything. So... I will keep you guys updated on all of that. So I'm going to do my makeup while I do this. Just multitasking here. I have some iced coffee. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started. So first of all, you guys always ask me, Jacqueline, how is your skin so clear? It is not. Like, I don't know if the camera just like blurs it out, but I... I mean, I only film these videos. I think I say this every time. I think I film these videos when it's that time of the month, which is when my skin does break out. Like I know it's hormonal because it's all right here and that is what it is, but it's so frustrating. So if you guys deal with hormonal acne, please comment down below what you do about it because I just, I don't know what to do. I'm, I kind of just let it run its course, but it hurts and it's just frustrating to have it. And then it's like right as my skin gets clear again, it gets bad again. First thing I'm gonna talk about is school and school has kind of always been the same for me. It's just been school. I'm not huge. I've never excelled amazingly in school. Like I really have to work hard at it. Now this semester I'm only taking 12 hours, which is not a lot at all. So I'm actually doing really well. I'd say this is the best semester grade wise that I've done. Um, I have three A's and a, I've got three A's and a B and my B is like super solid. I could literally fail my final exam and still have a B and I could get a 100 on it and still have a B, which is so frustrating, but it's also like kind of a nice place to be. I just don't have the normal college experience that people have, if that makes any sense. Like I don't, I'm not in a sorority, I'm not super into the college scene anyway, so it's kind of hard, um, especially like doing YouTube and stuff. It It's not like what people do and it takes a lot of my time. I love it though. Like I wouldn't have it any other way. I love doing YouTube. It's been a little hard adjusting this year because if you guys don't know, I am in a relationship. We've been dating for about six months now and it's been long distance the entire time. And so on weekends, I've been traveling a lot. I go see him more than he sees me just because it's easier with my schedule. It's a lot more flexible for me to go see him. And I, I love going there. I love being in his city. It's a really fun city. And it just feels like there's more to do whenever we go there. But anyway, so that has been a little straining on my school just because whenever I would have weekends to work on things, now I only have five days. And obviously, like I could be working on schoolwork whenever I'm with him but I just would prefer not to. Like I'd rather just be more diligent and get it done. I guess all that leads me into the Sam topic. So literally I've never had so many questions about something, but I, oh my gosh, that just went everywhere. But whenever I was like single, I mean, that was still like the number one question was if I had a boyfriend or what I was looking for in a guy. So my mid relationship is going amazing, um, but he's just such a good leader and I just, Honestly, all the time, I'm like, how did this happen? Like, literally, how did this happen? Um, and so, praise God for that. Like, I'm so serious. But just him living his life and the way that he does life is so encouraging. And I just find, I think the best way to describe it is that we are running at Jesus at the same pace. You know, like, we're not just both Christians, but we are both really running hard after Jesus, which makes our relationship just so good. And I really have to be careful. Like I'm constantly telling myself, like, don't love the gift, which is him more than the giver, which is God. And so I'm constantly trying to remind myself, like, God, I love this, but I don't love it more than you. Like, I am going to thank you for this because it is a gift and I'm going to recognize it as a gift, but I'm not going to you know, treasure it more than I treasure you. And that's been a like constant prayer in my life because I mean, naturally we will do that. Overall, it's been amazing. Probably the best part of this 
life update for sure. So the next thing I want to talk about is ministry. So what I mean by this is like how my personal ministry is going. I think if you claim to be a follower of Jesus and you truly are following him, then it should show in your life and you should be making disciples. That is the thing that Jesus calls us to do is to go and make disciples. I mean, it's the last thing he told us before he went into heaven. So obviously it's important and anything Jesus said is important, but that's a command. And if we say we follow Jesus, but we don't follow his commands, then do we really love him? And people may say, oh, well, you don't want to impose your beliefs on people and you don't want to, you know, like you live your life and I'll live mine. And that is the most unloving thing you can do. If you truly believe what you believe, if you truly believe that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, and there are either two things that you can do in this life. You can follow God and follow his commands, or you can follow the world and follow the world's commands, and both lead to two very different places. One leads to eternal life with God, and one leads to eternal separation from God. And if I believe that, then why wouldn't I tell the people in my life about it if they are not following God? And I don't mean by just following his rules, by having a relationship. Like there's a relationship there. And I'm not just telling them because Jesus told me to tell them. I'm telling them because I know what freedom, what life, what purpose this gives, what this life gives when you are following Jesus with all your heart, when you are loving him with your heart, soul, and mind. It doesn't mean you're going to become perfect, but I mean, it creates this freedom in knowing his truth and knowing your identity and knowing who you are in him and who he's made you to be. And if I believe what I believe to be true and I don't share it with people, then I'm not loving well. That is love. Love is, I would have to hate someone for me to not want to share the good news with them, knowing what it would lead to. Because in the Bible, it says all are without excuse, which is very true. You can look at nature and see God. And there's that one thing where it's like, well, what if someone was stranded on an island and no one was around? I'm so bad at multitasking. Um, what if someone was stranded on an island and no one's around to tell them about God? There are stories um, about people who have had dreams about God. God is God. He can reveal himself to you however he wants. And it's amazing that he chooses to use his children um, to do so. He doesn't need us, but he wants to use us. And so it says the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. And I, I want to be willing to be a worker. And as a believer, as a child of God, you should be willing to be a worker as well. Anyway, so just to put that out there for people who are like, don't impose your beliefs on people. I just hope that you can understand, like if you don't believe what I believe, or if you do believe what I believe, but you're on the side of which, if you believe what I believe, you shouldn't be on that side. That's not a biblical stance. I just hope that you'd be able to see that this is out of love. This isn't out of, I need to convert you. This is, this is love because I believe it to be true. So I want you to know the freedom that I have. I want you to know the amazingness of the God that I serve and the truth that is found in that. Um, so anyway, all of that to say, God is like really working here where I go to school. And it's really cool because last semester, we meaning, we meaning like this small group that I was in, it was really more of like, we just prayed together. We got together every single week and just prayed. Small group started a campus ministry, all this stuff from a church that I go to. And long story short, like we have seen so many people come to know the Lord. And even if they haven't come to know the Lord, there have been so many people who just are wrestling with God, meaning asking questions, all these things. And that's a good place to be. That's a great place to be because you keep wrestling and he'll, he'll touch your heart. And so it's been amazing to be able to be a part of that. And then I've seen God work just around, oh gosh, just around the people in my life, um, around my friends here. And just, it's been amazing because I'm so honored that the Lord would even want to use me. And he is using me and I want to be willing for him to use me. Um, and so as you guys know, I started a small group and I actually started it with... Um, 
Emily, you guys know Emily, my, my sister-in-law. She goes to school here. So that's been really good. We've been going through the book called Lies Women Believe. I think by Lisa DeMoss, is that her name? Anyway, it's an amazing, amazing book. I would really recommend it. Um, it just goes over things that like us as women, like we so easily believe these lies from the world and it's figuring out the truth of God. Like what does he say about us and who are we and how can you know something's a lie if you don't know what the truth is? So it really helps you uncover what the Bible is, what truth is in the Bible. I've been seeing a lot of girls being touched by that and I mean it's just God working and it's nothing that we're doing. Um, it's just him using his children, which is so kind. Like he is just such a kind God. I just can't, I just can't explain it. So anyway, that has been going really, really well. It's been really fun too, just being in community with girls. I think in one of my life updates, I just talked about like how lonely I was and how I felt like I had no community, which was so true. Like this time a year ago on my birthday, a year ago, I literally just broke down in front of my whole entire family just crying and it's just so crazy to see where life is now just a year later a year changes so much um and so it's just cool because he's given me community he's given me an amazing boyfriend that is in my season of life right now he's given me a relationship that has left me better than he found me sam has and if we do break up, then that's that's amazing that we can say that. We, I'm sure we would both say that we are a better person through that relationship. And if it doesn't end, that's amazing too. I mean, just, God has just been so, I'm just in a very good season. And I really wanna be careful of not, not letting that take away my praise because it's so easy to kind of forget God in the good seasons because you start loving the gifts more than you love God and you start, you know, just loving the things that he gave you and then you get to heartbreak again or you get to um, just a dry season in your life, a desert, and then you're like, oh my gosh, God, I didn't realize how much I needed you and I hope I never lose that awe. I just pray that I can see him as clear as I do on in the valley as much as I would on the mountaintops. And so I'm in a really good season and I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be telling the truth if I didn't say that I'm not scared. And I know this isn't, this isn't a good thing, but there's a part of me that's like, oh gosh, this is too good. But God loves to bless his children and I need, I do need to be preparing for hard times to come because he brought, he, he tells us like, it's not an easy life. So I know that. And so I'm just trying to, um, be wise, you know, throughout my seasons. Ministry has been going great. Do, been doing Bible studies with girls, just great things, just girls lives changing all around me and mine as well. Like there's so much growth for people, for the disciples and the disciple makers. Like you grow, I grow from doing Bible studies with girls. I'm not all knowing. I, I'm not perfect. Like I would say I know a lot. Like I do know that I have a substantial amount of knowledge, but I'm still growing. And for me meeting with girls, it has grown me so much. Anyway, that's been going really good. My ministry has. And then the next thing I want to talk about is YouTube. I'm not naming any products I'm using. So topic of YouTube, YouTube has been, oh, this has been really hard for me. I mean, you guys know I love YouTube. Um, it's been such a blessing for me. It's been such a God-given opportunity to just share the gospel with people. I mean, I get overwhelmed by your guys' amazing messages of how much I've impacted your life and I don't want you to hear me wrong. Like all glory to God for that. Like I, I don't do anything. He just uses me and I'm just thankful that he does. And I love this platform. One, I just love making videos. I could talk to a camera all day long. And two, I love that I'm able to help people out and use it to glorify God because that's what I'm here for. And so um, it's kind of hard when I love something so much that, um, and something is so good, but during this season right now, it can't be my number one thing. 
because I am in school. I am in a long distance relationship, which doesn't affect this that much, but it kind of does. Um, and I am just, I mean, I have a social life. Like I am busy and I, I'm not the kind of girl, I don't want to become restless and I've been finding that this semester. Um, I've been better now, but like, I don't, I mean, I haven't done a life update in a while. There's been a lot of like little things, but it's been kind of hard to do all these things. I am very involved in a lot of different things. And when I'm the kind of person where if I do something, I want to do it well and I want to do it with intention. And I'm doing a lot of really big things right now. I mean, I'm a full-time student. I do YouTube. I have people I'm pouring into. I have a life, like, and that's a lot of things to do, plus a long-distance relationship. Um, it's possible I'm doing it, but it just stinks that the thing that I love so much, YouTube, kind of has to suffer for it. Um, I mean, you guys know I haven't posted on my Flourish channel in a while if you don't know what flourish is it's my um like just faith channel like obviously this is going on my Jacqueline Brooke I will never take my faith out of this channel because this channel is my life and my faith is my life and you guys only see like part of it because I try to be pretty strategic with not just like making my channel all about Jesus that's the desire of my heart but I know if I want to reach people that don't fully know him then like making my content fully about Jesus would never reach anybody but Jesus people and so it's just been kind of hard that I have to put it on the back burner but I know that that's what I need to do right now um I mean I'm, I'm obviously I'm in school like that has to be my priority as much as that stinks to me just because like not just because I don't love it, but I'm like, do I really need it? But that's a whole nother topic. But so that's been really hard. And then obviously my relationship, like that's a big priority in my life because I'm, I'm pursuing a potential future ministry. I mean, I'm not going to date someone that I don't see a future with. And that's what dating is figuring that out is, are we fit to get married? And so I'm not going to sit here and pretend like, I'm just dating to have fun because I'm not. And so obviously I'm going to be intentional with that relationship. Anyway, point being, it stinks that this, that my YouTube kind of has to suffer for it, but it's also been really good. I mean, I've, I've told you guys that I got a manager, which has really helped me out a lot. Um, like literally so much. It's been so helpful. But yeah, so I'm just kind of taking YouTube as it goes. I still love it. Um, I hopefully see it. In my future, I definitely do now. Um, however that looks, I mean, I know that it's just my life, so I'm sure it would just grow up with me. You guys would just grow up with me, and I hope that you would want to do that, um, whatever that entails. Um, and then another really big question that I got that I don't think I've ever answered on here before is a future career. Like, what do I want to do with that, all of that? And I have always been the kind of person where I've had lots of desires and dreams. I've never lacked in that department. Um, I've My problem has always been, which one do I follow? And I can kind of start, start to see it all come together, which is really cool. I feel like I know what I want to do with my future now. Um, I've really got to really put on my heart what kind of ministry I want to have with my life. Like very, very specifically. And I just see it and I feel like I was made for that with the gifts that he's given me and stuff like that. So that's really exciting. I'm not going to go into detail about that. Career wise, I would love to continue doing YouTube and then build a business off of that, which I feel like everybody is doing nowadays. Um, and this is something that I've desired to do for so long. And I don't know if I've ever shared this on YouTube, but I think the biggest thing that I desire to do is to have an online clothing store. This is something I've wanted to do since sophomore year of high school before it was ever a really big thing. And now it's like a huge thing and it feels like everyone's doing it, which is kind of like made me go, uh, you know, um, but that's so dumb. Like, why should I let that stop me from doing something I've desired to do for so so long and something that I've prepared to do like meaning I could literally pretty much start it right now I would just need to 
do all the legal stuff for it, actually buy everything. But like I have how to start it. I have the cost I would need, not meaning I have the money, but I have the amounts that I would need. Like I have all the knowledge of doing it. It's just a matter of doing it. Um, and so if that's something that I can do out of college, I would love that. I absolutely would. It's something I could do on my own time, out of my own space. Um, that's why I'd want it to be online. And I would really want it to be a company that would help people. I was really inspired whenever I went to Guatemala in eighth grade. Um, I knew that, so maybe it's since eighth grade actually, because this was, this is kind of what sparked my dream was I met these women that were making blankets um, and headbands and all these things and they would work so hard and they would sell them for like a couple dollars. And I knew that I could help those girls out if I created a business where they could sell their products. And I don't know if this is legal. I don't know how this would work legally. I feel like it'd be fine. Um, but I'd love to have a clothing store that also sold their products, whether it's bracelets, headbands, blankets. Anything that they make, they make purses, shoes, literally so much stuff, sell it for a proper price and then give them the profit. Like I would love to do that. These women are working hard. And um, so that's something I'd really love to do to share in, in return, hopefully share the love of God with them and show them God's love through that. I don't know how that would work, but that would be a goal of mine. I don't think I've ever talked about this on social media. So those are kind of my life goals. I feel like that was a really big update. There were so many little things that happened in between. I mean, I, I've had some rough seasons this semester, but overall it's been a really good season. And I realized that and I thank God for that. I know it's him, I know it's his work and his love and his um, blessing really over my life. It takes me so much longer to do my makeup when I'm filming because I just don't do a good job of multitasking. So yeah, that's kind of been my life right now. Kind of a lot, kind of not. I'm gonna finish up my mascara. Okay, so I just finished getting ready. I finished doing my mascara and my makeup, and now I'm about to film a different video. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this life update. I love doing these kind of videos just to be able to look back on and really appreciate what God has done in my life and the different seasons I go through and all of that. And I know that you guys want to know, which it means so much to me that you guys even care, that you guys are so kind and uplifting to me. I literally have... And I feel like everybody says this, but like I never get hate comments from my subscribers. I can tell when someone is a follower of mine or if they're just like a random person coming across the video and then trashing on me. So you guys are so kind and sweet and I genuinely feel like we're friends and I love meeting you guys. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to get started on my other video because I've got lots to do today, but I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.